Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to another episode in this playlist reviews and how to is the playlist where I basically break down and explain how to play different board games and give my final thoughts and feelings on whether or not you should try them out. Today we're going to be talking about 5 Second Rule, the South African Travel Edition and I won't lie, this game pleasantly surprised me. I've had a lot of fun playing with it and I'm going to break it down for you right now. But before we jump into the video, I just want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor. Hey guys, before we carry on with this video, I just want to shout out the sponsors of this video and that is Solar Pop. Solar Pop are distributors here in South Africa that distribute board games and card games with the goal and intention of bringing friends and families together. Just a few of the board games I've played through my interactions with them include Dungeons and Dragons, Pandemic, Ticket to Ride, and then also, not to be forgotten, Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza, which honestly, don't knock it till you try it. I love that game so much. In fact, I think I got so invested and so passionate in that game, I genuinely think I traumatized my dog with how loud I got. But guys, if you are at all interested in other board games or card games like this, then definitely, definitely, definitely check out Solar Pop. Their details are in the description down below. So ultimately, once you've bought this box, you open it up and the contents are quite self-explanatory. Within the box, you'll receive 90 question cards, which totals to 180 question, and then you get 12 special cards, six being the pass on cards, six being switch cards, you get your timer, and you get one little rules booklet. The object of the game is to answer the most questions by giving three correct answers before the balls twist down to the bottom of the timer. To set up the game, simply place the cards in a stack. Each player will also then receive one pass on card and one switch card. Then decide how many rounds you and your friends want to play. To use the timer, simply flip it over swiftly. It should take roughly 5 seconds before the last ball has finished twisting down and hits the bottom. The rules to playing the game is quite simple. Simply decide who will answer first. The player to their right will then draw a card and read it aloud. All cards begin with name 3, followed by random categories. Points will only be given to players who answer with 3 or more accurate questions. To win the game is really simple, all you have to do is be the first person to reach the required or agreed upon amount of points first. When it comes to special cards, each player will have access to use two different cards once, this being the pass on and the switch. Ultimately, this game is incredibly, incredibly simple, but that does not stop it from being incredibly, incredibly fun. Truth be told, when I started playing this game, I thought it was going to be incredibly childish, I really didn't think I'd enjoy it. And I feel like I really shouldn't have treated this game too harshly because when I was playing this with my friends at work, we had a great time. We were laughing the whole time. We were all having a ton of fun. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what you want out of a game like this. They're called party games for a reason. This is a game you're supposed to be able to play with friends, play it instantly, not spend too much time on trying to figure out the intricacies of it. You simply pick up the game, you start to play it, and you have fun. So guys, to my surprise, I would highly recommend that you try out 5 Second Rule. It is really a lot of fun. You're going to have fun with your friends. Everyone's going to have fun. It is a really good time for everyone involved. 